Hi everyone, I'm Milene from English Made Easy. And if you are here because you need help with your English language and literature lessons, you have made the right choice. Do consider subscribing if you have not already done so. If you subscribe, you will not miss any of the lessons that I post. Today, I have another revision test for you. Again, it is in multiple choice question form. I have 25 multiple choice questions or MCQs from chapters 7 to 12 of your new Mulberry English course, course book 5 by Anahita Lee. Each question will have four options and you have to choose the right one. I will give you the answers as well. Before we begin, you need to keep a book and a pen ready. You can give yourselves marks out of 25 and then don't forget to let me know how you performed. This is the second test. So I expect you to do even better than the first test. Please do let me know, okay? So all you need to do is keep your book ready, keep it open and write numbers from one to 25, one below the other. Then when I read the questions to you, against each number, you can write A, B, C or D. That's all. Are you ready to begin? Let's start. Let's start. I hope your book is open and you have written the numbers from one to 25. The first one, choose the statement that is true. A, Amy had bought her mother a pair of slippers. B, Joe had bought her mother a handkerchief. C, Beth had bought her mother a basket of roses. D, Amy had bought her mother a bottle of cologne. The right answer is D, Amy had bought her mother a bottle of cologne. The second one, choose the correct meaning of the word ragged. Is it A, a type of perfume? B, a dish made with flour? C, covered? And D, old and torn? The right answer, B, old and torn. The third one, choose the correct group of characters in the story Christmas morning. A. Meg, Joe, Beth, Amy, Mrs. March, Hannah, Emily, the Hummels. B. Meg, Joe, Beth, Amy, Mrs. March, Hannah, Emily, Margaret. C. Meg, Joe, Beth, Amy, Mrs. March, Hannah, the Hummels. D. Meg, Joe, Beth, Amy, Mrs. March, Hannah, Tippity Widget. So what's the right answer? C. All right. The fourth one. Emily was afraid of snakes because A. She was once bitten by a snake. B. She thought they were all venomous. C. They looked creepy. D. They stared at her from the fish tank. The right answer is B. She thought they were all venomous. The fifth one. What happened after Emily dropped the towel? A. She fainted. B. She ran into the garden. C. It got burnt and became ashes. D. Red eyes slid out of it. The right answer? D. Red eyes slid out of it. The sixth one. The garter snake had made itself comfortable among the towels. What is one word for made itself comfortable? Is it A. Shuddered. B wandered, C, sniffed, D, snuggled. The right answer is D, snuggled. The seventh one, the big friendly giant makes powders out of A, the dreams that children dream when they are asleep, B, wheelbarrows, C, coffee beans and cocoa, D, chocolates. The right answer, A, the dreams that children dream when they are asleep. The eighth one, name the lesson the following lines are taken from. In no time, everyone was busy drawing and painting. A, black beauty. B, red eye. C, artist for everyone. D, Christmas morning. 
Now we're talking about drawing and painting. So this is really easy, isn't it? The answer, art is for everyone, C. The ninth one, who said the words, a gutter snake won't hurt anyone if it is handled properly. Could it be A, Emily, B, Cindy, C, Cindy's mother, or D, Cindy's uncle? What do you think? The right answer is D, Cindy's uncle. I bet you got confused with this one. The tenth one, choose the right statement. A, the BFG had tiny hands. B, Joe's Christmas gift was a crimson covered book. C, the master called Duchess Black Beauty. D, Margaret chose colored pencils for her drawing. So the right answer has to be B. Joe's Christmas gift was a crimson covered book. The 11th one, name the author of the story Art is for Everyone. Was it A, Anna Sewell, B, Jerry Jenrick, C, Louisa May Alcott, or D, Roald Dahl? The answer, B, Jerry Jenrick. The 12th one, which statement is true? That means three of them are not true. Only one is true. Which one is true? A, Mr. Gimme allowed Gandhi to go home early and tend to his sick father. B, Uncle Dot painted lovely watercolor paintings. C, for two years, Black Beauty's father had won the Newmarket Race Cup. D, Emily found Red Eyes snuggled among the pillows on her bed. What's your answer? The answer is B, Uncle Dot painted lovely watercolor paintings. The 13th one, choose the lesson from which these lines have been taken. His face was pale and still and distant, unconscious of everything around him. Was it A, the big friendly giant? B, Christmas morning? C, red eye? Or D, black beauty? The right answer, A, the big friendly giant. Who are they talking about in this line? Do you know? It's Danny's father. The 14th one. Who said it is good angels come to us? Who talks about angels? Was it A, Mommy, B, Mrs. Hummel, C, Hannah, D, Joe? The right answer? Mrs. Hummel, B. The 15th one. Choose the right description of the meadow in the story Black Beauty. A, it was a large pleasant meadow with a river running through it. B, it was a tiny meadow that did not get enough sunlight. C, it was a small unpleasant meadow with a pond of clear water in it. D, it was a large meadow with a pond in it. The right answer is D. It was a large meadow with a pond in it. The 16th one, the artists in Art is for Everyone agreed to stop working for the day because A, someone had bought, brought food for them. B, they had smelt the food being cooked in nearby houses and got hungry. C, they could smell ropes and boats. D, the sound of the seagulls overhead had begun to irritate them. The right answer is B. They had smelt the food being cooked in nearby houses and got hungry. The 17th one. Another word for splendid is A. Dirty, B. Red, C. Lovely, and D. Annoying. The right answer, C. Lovely. The 18th one, the boy at school had said that Margaret's drawing was A, amazing, B, impressive, C, terrible, D, beautiful. The right answer, terrible, C, because A, B and D all mean the same thing. And C is the only thing that means something else, a bad thing. 19th. Which of the characters in the story Art is for Everyone said that he or she could not draw well, so he or she would just watch? Was it A, Margaret, 
B. Margaret's mother. C. Tippity Witchet. Or D. Uncle Dot. The answer B. Margaret's mother. The 20th one. Which of the following statements is not true of Cindy? A. Cindy was 12 years old and really silly. B. Cindy was not afraid of snakes. C. Cindy was fascinated with the way Red Eye ate. D. Cindy found Red Eye on her uncle's farm. What's not true? The answer? A. Cindy was 12 years old and really silly. The 21st one. Which of the following statements belongs to the story, The Big Friendly Giant? A. My mother helped me to find my old fish tank in the garage. B. We used to canter round and round the field as hard as we could go. C. My father was not what you would call an educated man. D. In no time, everyone was busy drawing and painting. And the right answer is C. My father was not what you would call an educated man. The 22nd one, name the author of The Big Friendly Giant. Was it A, Roald Dahl, B, Louisa May Alcott, C, Anna Sewell, or D, Janvi Prasad? The right answer, A, Roald Dahl. The 23rd one, which statement is true of the plowboy in the story Black Beauty? A. The plowboy was mean to the goats. B. The plowboy plucked blueberries from the hedge. C. The plowboy threw stones at old Daniel. D. The plowboy took black beauty to town every day. The right answer has to be A. The plowboy was mean to the goats. And if you got confused with the second one, it's not blueberries, it was blackberries. So be careful. The 24th one, name the lesson the following lines are taken from. I thought of the time she had reported me for using her hairbrush to brush our dog. Was it A, Christmas morning? B, the big friendly giant? C, art is for everyone? B, the big friendly giant? C, art is for everyone? And D, red eye? The right answer is D, red eye. The 25th one, which of the following sounds could the BFG hear that you cannot hear? A, the sound of sleeping children snoring. B, the sound of water flowing down a stream. C, the sound of ants whispering to each other. D, the sound of bees buzzing overhead. Which sound could the BFG hear that you cannot hear? The right answer is C, the sound of ants whispering to each other. And with that, I've finished with today's test. I certainly hope you did well in today's test and you are well prepared for your English literature exam. If you still need help with anything, do let me know in the comments below. And I'm also anxiously looking forward to hearing how well you performed in the test. Do hit that like button if the test was a good one and share it with your friends who might need it. Thank you for watching today's video and we'll meet again in the next video.